Yo, what is up guys? So we're going to be checking out a few new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The first card is just an announcement that this card is coming out. We don't know the effect of it yet, but uh, anyways, it is Hope Magician, uh, which is supposed to combine the powers of Yuya and Yuma. Um, all we know as of right now is it's a rank four. It looks like it's a pendulum monster though. It looks like a pendulum exceed. Uh, because obviously on the bottom it does have that green area, but uh, it looks like it's an exceed pendulum rank four that's also light. Again, we don't know the effect of it yet, but we'll hopefully find out pretty soon. This is going to be a uh, jump uh, promotional card, so I'm not sure when we'll get it in the TCG, but nonetheless, I think this is more of a fan favorite card. But if it's combining the powers of two like you know anime characters. Hopefully it will be actually viable in the game, but we'll have to wait and see. But the first new card that we actually know the effect of that is coming out is Arai's Phantasma Dragon. So it's a level 8 Dark Dragon Pendulum Effect Monster with uh, 3,000 attack and at 2,500 defense points. Interesting enough, it's a pendulum scale of 0. I think this is like the first time we've actually gotten a pendulum that is a uh, 0 scale as far as I'm aware of. But anyways, here's the artwork of it and let's go ahead and check out the effect. So. The pendulum effect is you can only use the pendulum effect of this card's name once per turn. You get to discard one card to add one face-up dragon monster from your extra deck to your hand. The monster effect is uh, you can only use this card's first and second monster effects of this card's name once per turn, respectively. So the first monster effect is if there's two cards in your pendulum zones and there's face-up Audi's pendulum monster in your extra deck, you can spell summon this card from your hand, but you cannot pendulum summon it during that turn. Uh, the second effect says if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can activate this effect during that damage calculation only. That monster loses a thousand attack for each face of pendulum monster in your extra deck. That's pretty cool. I mean, sometimes you'll be able to just get that 3,000 attack in. That's interesting. There's also certain cards that, like, when your opponent's monsters are reduced to zero by some effect, you can do something. But for the most part, I don't think anyone's going to be playing those. But uh, it's cool to see a pendulum scale of zero, and there's no real restrictions on like what you can summon, so maybe some decks will just try to run this card, but it is a uh, level 8 pendulum monster, so not the easiest thing to get out. Um, obviously, via its own effect, it's not too difficult, but then at, at that point, you're not going to be supposed to summon anything else, but making a bunch of things zeros uh, can be definitely not too bad. It doesn't like banish the monsters, it's just for every uh, face up. So that might be interesting. I don't know if this is gonna be meta. You guys let me know if it's gonna be meta. I think it might just be good just because it's a zero scale, which lets you get out level ones. That's pretty cool again. Uh, anyways, next up we have uh, some more cards from Cybernetic Horizon here. Uh, so the first card is actually a metaphys card. If you guys remember those uh, dragons that would like banish stuff. Um, anyways, we got a normal trap card as a support. It says uh, you can only use the, uh, each effect of this card's name once per turn. The first effect is to discard a Metaphys to draw one card, and then you uh, can banish one Metaphys monster from your deck. Now, most of those will get effects via them being banished. And then the second effect says if this card is banished, you get to add one Metaphys card from your deck to your hand, except for itself. So that's pretty cool. You're able to get technically a plus one initially because banish them does give you usually an effect. And then you get so, so the whole discard to draw one, that could even be plus because sometimes you need them in the graveyard to banish for a certain other effect. So, I mean, this card could be technically a plus three, plus two, depending on the way you look at it. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. You get to add any Metaphys card. I'm not sure about that deck being very strong. They do have a special summon like a card where it just like gets rid of all of your opponents like special monsters. The, the deck has some dirty plays for sure, um, but uh, it's 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 going to be interesting to see if they become meta with a few other cards because it's just random one support card. But uh, anyways, next up we have a new Dragoonity card over here. Unfortunately, we, we're running black and white in here. But this is Dragoonity... Um, uh, Kus, Kus. Um, but anyways, level 2 win dragon tuner effect monster with 1,000 attack, 200 defense points. And it says it cannot be used as synchro material except for the synchro summon of a Dragoonity monster. The first effect says uh, if this card is on the field is used as synchro material, you can treat it as level 4. That's pretty cool. Uh, the second effect says uh, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can spell summon this equipped card. Okay, which at that point, well, you would just... You can just go into like a lot higher level Dragoonity. It's like the new Dragoonity the synchro that uh, we talked about the other day. I guess you can definitely make use of this card. I mean, obviously, it's on unfortunately only going to be for Dragoonies. I wish that wasn't part of it. Otherwise, this card might be like too good to run cards of consonants. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It looks like they're giving uh, more Dragoonity support. Uh, there's already now uh, two cards, so that's cool. But also, there's another card that uh, I'm not sure when this was announced. Uh, I want to say like maybe uh, like yesterday. The other the cards were announced just like earlier today. 
But uh, anyways, Mirror Force Launcher, I didn't even see this card. I didn't even find the article. Someone was like, dude, how come you didn't cover Mirror Force Launcher? I'm like, what the heck is Mirror Force Launcher? But it's a continuous trap card that says, once per turn and during your main phase, you get to discard one monster to add one Mirror Force from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If this set card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can set this card from your graveyard and one Mirror Force from your hand, deck, or graveyard to your field. Also, they can be activated this turn. That is so dirty. Your opponent gets rid of that. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me get this card back. And then on top of that, I'm going to get another uh, Mirror Force. Like, that's crazy. And then once per turn, obviously, being able to discard a monster. Uh, like, there's some cards to get effects via discarding. It's interesting to see if someone's going to be playing this card. Because at the end of the day, uh, the problem with this is you're going to add a Mirror Force but then you have to set it later on. So it's really good if it's set and destroyed. I don't know, but like I said, like your opponent's gonna know what you're setting because you're adding it. So I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys think it's gonna be good or not because I'm more than likely your opponent's just gonna be like, okay, I'm not gonna attack, which still can be good in some circumstances. I think it's an interesting card. I'm gonna definitely try to make like a mirror force deck now that we have like launcher. We got, which, oh, another thing I wanna mention, which is really cool. Some of the virus dragons, um, isn't there a Mirror Force Dragon? You could definitely use that as well in this deck. But anyways, uh, those are the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Hopefully you guys enjoyed checking them out. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards.